Welcome back students. We were seeing the topic molecular basis of inheritance. Now let's see about the flexibility of DNA. A vast majority of DNA molecules present in the aqueous protoplasm of the living cells almost certainly exist in Watson and Creek model that is the double helix structure. That form of DNA is mainly called as B form of DNA and B form of DNA represent 92% of the relative humidity. In fact, intracellular B form of DNA appears to have an average of 10.4 nucleotides per turn rather than 10. So, B form of DNA has more nucleotide per turn. Now, mainly there are three forms of DNA, B DNA, A DNA and Z DNA. Now, in high concentration of salts or in a, you can say the dehydrated state, 75% humidity, we can say the DNA exists in the a form. So, when there is 75% humidity or there is high concentration of salt, DNA exists in A form which has 11 nucleotides per turn. Okay? And uh, some there are some DNA which exist in the unique left-handed form, left-handed double helix form which are called as Z DNA. Okay? And A and B are mainly the right-handed double helical form. Are in right-handed double helical form now, if we will consider A form of DNA, it has 11 nucleotides per turn and it, the pitch is ranging about 24.6 Armstrong. B form of DNA has 10 nucleotides while Z form of DNA has 12 nucleotides per turn. Now, as you can see in the figure, the B form of DNA, same you can consider of A form also, it is right handed DNA that means it is standing it is starting from 3 prime end and ending to 5 prime end it is in this sequence and it is right handed form it is like this ok and it will be the complementary of 3 prime end would be 5 prime end and it is like this so this is right handed or double, uh, double helical form of DNA while in Z DNA it is left handed ok it, it is starting from 5 prime end complementary to which will be the 3 prime end to this 5 prime end would end uh, to 3 prime end and this 3 prime end would end the strand into 5 prime end so this is left handed form of DNA so students in this session we have seen about the flexibility of DNA and the main 3 forms of DNA in further session we will have a more detailed look thank you